Well, hello and welcome back to another show on See, Here Love on this Wisdom Wednesday. And we're so glad that you joined us around the kitchen table. And I'm so glad that we're all together today to talk about a topic that is one that we all have to work really hard on every day. That, that is life-giving. <laughs> hair? <laughs> and yes, can sometimes even be draining, I'm just being honest, that we couldn't live without but takes a lot of energy and intentionality oh. to have them and I make them work. I wonder what this could be. Hmm. Hosts, what do you think? <laughs> <laughs> and the topic today on our show is girlfriends. All right. mm -hmm. Yes, the women in our lives uh, who yes. we hang out with and who make up our community. And I know it's a big topic for us because mm -hmm. we've talked about that. We're girlfriends because, again, this comes up again and again on messages from our viewers and from our friends and from people that connect with us about girlfriends. How do I find a good girlfriend? How do I get a good community? Um, how can I be a part of one? And why can't I be or find girlfriends? And that's been a reoccurring message and email from a ton of people writing oh, wow. to us. Mm -hmm. So I thought today it'd be great for us to talk about it. Yeah. Yes. yeah? Good. Yeah. Absolutely. Are you ready for this? Because we're going to be getting down and dirty and honest about yeah. our girlfriend experiences. All right. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, if for viewers, if this is your first time, here are the hosts of the show, Cheryl Abby and Joanna, Hi. who are great girlfriends, and I think you're going to learn a lot from them about how to be a good girlfriend as well. Mm -hmm. So, we're going to look at scriptures, we're going to talk about our own personal stories, and we're going to hopefully encourage each other and our viewers about how to be a good girlfriend and how to get yes. good girlfriends. As we say, we're going to spill the tea, girl. Okay, spill the tea. <laughs> spill the tea. All right, I know that expression. I know. That's yes. a, I mean, you've got tons of these little expressions. I'm like, I'm oh, your girl. Spill the tea. Oh, see me. Okay, so starting off, you know, first question, why uh, and what do you look for in a girlfriend? Mm. So when you're, when mm. just say you're sitting and, you know, you're in different places, work, church, the gym, whatever, uh, what are traits or characteristics of, that you would say is a good girlfriend for you? Mm. What are key things? Yeah, for me, it's going to be somebody who's confident in themselves. Mm -hmm and they probably are gonna make me laugh a little bit. I think that I look for someone ah. who's really yeah. smart. Yeah. I like intelligent conversation. Yeah, that's good. And uh, I like someone who's going after something, that they're doing something interesting with mm. their life. But I mean, it, generally, it's the simplest way of saying it is like you meet someone and you just like, you click. Right? Yeah, it there's just, that instant connection. Yeah. 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 For me, I think, you know, obviously that sort of like-mindedness, but on the other side, it's also good to have girlfriends that are a little different so that you're not all the same. Agreed. For a while there, I was always kind of getting the same people. Mm -hmm. And then I'm realizing, wait a second, we're talking, thinking the same, mm -hmm. and there's no challenge. So I agree, a little bit of challenge. And a woman that I can trust mm -hmm. uh, in a world where, you know, secrets are out and things are said a lot, um, somebody that I can really trust with some deep things mm -hmm. is very important. So trustworthiness. Loyalty yeah. mm -hmm. is big because yeah. I don't have the time to invest with somebody, and then you know a month later they're like we're out for the next best shiny thing. So a loyalty, mm -hmm. um, and and again, I mean, there's one of faith, but I just someone open that I can have fun with as well. Yeah. But but also willing to kind of go deep with me and be honest. Yeah. That's what I would say. Yeah. Abby, that would be it for me. Is is the conversation like? And I mean, it's it's from initial initial contact. Like you want to know that you do have that click and you that conversation, but someone that's willing to be as open and real about life as I am. Mm -hmm. And you do have to, you have to be wise because you, you don't want to share with everybody because of the trust factor. Yeah. You need to test that first. So, um, yeah, for that. And, and someone who cheers me on, mm -hmm. like even, even, and who I can cheer on if they have their own stuff, mm -hmm. even if it might seem like a competition thing, realize it's <laughs> not like we, mm -hmm. you know, we're yeah. each made for a purpose and someone that cheers you on as you go. Yeah. No, that's yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. Cheryl? Yeah. Uh, I just want, you know, like about 20 of Joanna. Authentic. I you so uh, Talented. Uh, so going nice. for something real. No, I, wow. I, I, I just, I, you know, I was thinking about all the qualities we were talking about, but yeah, just really authentic, real. Mm. Um, we'll say I love something. We'll say, yeah. It's okay yeah. on you, mm -hmm. or I don't like it. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, but we'll celebrate yeah. you. Um, yeah, that's good. I think you know the biggest, the, the biggest thing about friendship is being there. You know, is mm -hmm. showing up. Yeah, yeah. And I think you know, you go, girl, and oh, good for you. All of those distance things. Mm -hmm. it, sometimes we just need you to be there. Yeah. yeah. So, so, so championing each other, supporting each other. But authenticity for me yeah. is like if I, I don't, I'm allergic to fake. It gives me hives. I break out. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. Yeah. You, you, 
-hmm. like be real. If yes. you're not happy, if, if, if we've offended each other, like right. don't, mm -hmm. how are you? Fine, everything okay? Yes. Yeah. 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 Like, I, know. I know. I know. Exactly. Exit mm -hmm. stage yeah. left. Right. So these are all great things, and I would say if I was saying them, like absolutely, and yet I bet that there's a lot of people who are like, where are they? Right. Where are those mm -hmm. girlfriends? Right. Mm -hmm. And so on that, why do you think there's challenges? Let's start with that on finding those girls, girlfriends, and a trusted community. Why? Because mm -hmm. that's come up a lot in feedback yeah. about people saying, I just don't have what you have or I can't find that. Why do you think that is? Why are there challenges? Well, you know, it's so funny. Um, I spoke, at, spoke in Niagara Falls a couple weeks ago only to say that I actually did a, a sermon called Mirror Mirror. And I feel like we look through our view of the world and our view of life and how we approach things mm -hmm. is really based on the lens that we have, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I think when it comes to women, um, our lenses have been broken and shattered. Mm -hmm. And um, so we always approach things very guarded, very uh, gingerly. Mm -hmm. Um, or very warped, we have this like, you're going to hurt me, it's a matter of when. Mm. Um, wow. and, 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 yeah, yeah, and just almost passing the death sentence on the friendship before wow. it even really <laughs> gets somewhere. Um, so a lot of that comes into play. There's a huge distrust that we have. It seems yeah. to be very inherent with women. Right. I'd why love to figure is? that yeah. out. Yeah. Why, why do you think there is that distrust? Because I hear that a lot too. Yeah, like, I, I don't trust lot. her, so I won't give up myself. Mm. Why do you think? Is it because we're talkers? And we like, we think that using somebody else's story or by, I don't know, it gets us mm. ahead in some way. Or is it because we're trying to like, we're always trying to be better. And so we use mm. somebody else's success and take it for our own. I don't know. Mm. Is that, I so you think more like sort of gossip where people talk. Yeah, gossip which is, is a big thing. I yeah. Think. Okay. What do you think, Joe? Why do you think we distrust women? Uh, now, well, it's generally speaking, I'm just saying, but... Yeah, I guess but, I, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> but what, why so do I'm people trying, struggle like, I'm with like, what would, what would I, if I reflect on people who, who struggle with this, you've been hurt, and so you expect that the new thing will be like the old mm -hmm. thing. But I think generally, um, if this is a pattern in our life, if I can be real, mm -hmm. it's like, who's the common denominator in all your relationships? It's yourself. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest if you have yeah. a pattern yeah, of people good. hurting you, mm -hmm. like I'm talking girlfriends. I'm not talking abusive things. I'm mm -hmm. talking like mm -hmm. a pattern of women in your life who have hurt you and let you down. You're the one who has chose them. You mm -hmm. have chosen wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's your problem. Yeah, re and so, you know, whether that's, you know, you're trying to fill some need through those people mm -hmm. that's inappropriate or you're just like not being filtering enough about yeah. who you mm -hmm. who you let into your life. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's would probably be a number of ways, but but ultimately, usually if it's a pattern that that it's, it's your own fault. Yeah. Right. <laughs> so evaluate, yeah. Well, evaluate what yeah. you're doing and your picking of friends. Yeah. Mm. And I think it's like a, a process too. Like if I think about my girlfriends, there are some girlfriends I've had for 25 years and then there's other girlfriends that they're not in my life that were very significant mm -hmm. in high school, you know, sure. college, university. And so there is seasonal things. Yeah. And especially, That's normal, yeah, though. it's normal. And, but I also think, you know, as we get into this conversation, there's gonna be where there'll be decisions to make about girlfriends. There are parting of ways. Yeah, there are parting ways, and that you yeah. have to do that, because yeah. some of them are bringing you down, right. or they're untrustworthy. Yeah. Right. Um, and then there's others that you've gotta like push in and invest and, and right. take the time to go the long haul to pull out the gold in them. And, mm -hmm. that, and people have done that with me, and so there's part yeah. of that where I wanna do the same. Yeah. But I think, I, I agree, I think you know, yeah. the challenges are, you know, we have to kind of take a look at ourselves and go, okay, why is it hard for me? Mm -hmm. And some people say, well, I'm introverted. I'm like, yes, but there are still places and ways to extend yourself because, you know, going about life lonely is not a good way to go. Right. Yeah, and it doesn't need to be with, like, 20 people. No. I mean, like, you have, like, a very large network and you enjoy that. And I would say, maybe you would say this too, the older I get, the smaller, smaller. that network yeah. of, of close, yeah. trusted people. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Right. And on a most practical level, it's because you have less time. Right. When yes. you're a teenager or right. in your early 20s, it's you so have a lot of time. When you get farther into your family life and your career and mm -hmm. other pri and and you know, aspirations that you have, you just have less time. Right. And yeah. so you don't have uh, as much to work on the relationships that are too exhausting to work on. You yeah. gotta right. let it go. Yeah. Right, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Do you guys agree with that? Yeah. I do, and I think that there's, you know, I, I feel like sometimes we can tarnish 
uh, female friendships, but there's such a rich blessing. Yeah. Oh, you know, nice. you're, oh, you're, yeah. you're missing out mm -hmm. uh, by sometimes just sort of, we do these blanket, like all women are, and all, mm -hmm. we do these mm -hmm. cutoff statements, mm -hmm. and there's a, there's, there's a real gift yeah. in finding yeah. that, and it, yeah. like you said, yeah. that one, that, yeah. that two. And I think yeah. I love, as I get older, the age, because I remember why I didn't like girlfriends, and mm -hmm. always only hang out with boys, mm -hmm. because high maintenance, high drama, mm -hmm. issues, and they were always threatened or jealous of me. And so then right. you're like, okay, well, I'm gonna go to the safe place and just hang out with guys who just seem like chill, let's do sports, right. and they weren't really emotionally connected. Yeah. I mean, I say that yeah. generally, but which then caused more issues because as I hanged out with guys, girls would be more upset and jealous of me. <laughs> but I was doing that because I didn't feel safe with them. Right. So it was just, you know, and so hmm. I really didn't get, you know, really great girlfriends I trusted till probably like early to mid 20s. Hmm. Like high school, I had good girlfriends, but I'm saying like really share and, and do that. Right. It wasn't till mm -hmm. then. Mm -hmm. And then you're right, I had to weed stuff out because yeah. it was And you were also seasons. going through your own stuff. Yeah. Of sure your was. own right. yeah. issues of being right. high maintenance and jealous and gossiping. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, so like it was back. it was back and forth. Right. Yeah. And so like there was a brokenness for like you know what's mm -hmm. the common denominator? Right. It was Me. Mel. Right. Yeah. And then say and I'm not saying that just yeah. you, it's the same but for it's all so of true. us. Yeah. Like major yeah. confession moment. I hate I hated hated women. Um, wow. Hated women. I hated women. Um, I grew up with guys. Only wow. wanted to be around mm -hmm. guys. Yeah. Um, struggled through my twenties. Um, gave a lot of women a hard time in my thirties. Mm. They tried to befriend me. Tried to reach out. Tried to be trustworthy, and I just wasn't having it. Mm. Um, but I, I had to do the hard work and look at me. Mm -hmm. I had been abused and and really hurt as a child by mm -hmm. a particular w woman, a wow. care caregiver. And that was deep seated so that was, hatred. Yeah. Yeah, and you wow. know, I can see that. you've got to allow mm -hmm. yourself to mm -hmm. stop the busyness and the uh, numbing down mm -hmm. right. and yeah. allow that. I love our, mm -hmm. our past show on forgiveness plug to, to watch that because mm -hmm. let it come up. Yeah, yeah. Right. you got to. Yeah. And in yeah. letting it come up, yeah. not only does it heal you and free you and all the things that we said, mm -hmm. but yeah. it allows you now to pursue these really like life giving relationships. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 And I don't think you can get really deep female friendships until you are a bit healthier yeah, and yeah, know yourself totally. a little more. Yeah. You know, whatever age, and again, mm -hmm. there's not a timeline for mm -hmm. that. Exactly. Everybody's journey is different. Like, I would say in reflection that the, the when I began to make deep female friendships was also mm -hmm. in correlation with the time in my life where I began to really know myself better. Yeah, right. Yeah. I remember point. like when I, when I was young, like a child, <laughs> I, I remember I came back from living overseas with my family. We lived in Romania. I came back, I was super weird <laughs> because I was from a different culture basically mm -hmm. and I was trying to, like people didn't even know where Romania was and I had just spent mm -hmm. a significant amount of my life mm -hmm. there and, and, and it was a lonely many years. Yeah. And I remember with my mom praying regularly. It was, a, and I talked about this to other moms all the. I'm not a mom, but to talk to moms all the time, like pray with your kids about the yeah. things that they need, because yeah. then when they see it happen, mm, they'll they know, know who to thank, thank for yeah, it. Right. Because like we need to give him the credit for yeah. what happened right. that was good. Really good. Yeah. And I remember even writing down like, oh, why can't I have a best friend? And like, here's what I want her oh. to look like. Yeah. And oh. I remember, like, I remember so that would have been. Did it look like me? This? <laughs> <laughs> Did it look like, like me? <laughs> More tanned, more tanned over here. Sure. More tanned. It yes. was not an ethnic <laughs> description. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bit more what her personality yeah, was. Right. And then when I found that friend at about mm. 16 years old, mm. I knew that God had given that friend to That's me. That's beautiful. And we're yeah. still, and we're, of course, we don't see each other a lot because mm -hmm. life has moved on. We're still dear, dear friends, yeah. but mm -hmm. we don't see each other mm -hmm. as much at this I age. I like that, but. though, to like pray. I mean, again, that's yeah. something that, because we always want to go out and get it yeah. and make it happen, yeah. but that prayer component is mm. really being important. being specific, yeah. what do you what want? What do I need? Yeah, and then when you need? see it, yeah. you know, oh, this is the per kind of person right. that I've been yeah. praying yes. for. I can, I've can. i named it and claimed yeah. it <laughs> in, in a way that like now when I look for yeah. it, I like I have my eyes but open just, for yeah. it. Just to give uh, women some breathing room, yeah. it, it is trial and error sometimes. Yeah. Right. You will make mistakes, oh, you yeah. will choose the right. wrong yeah. friend, and in choosing that wrong friendship, then you realize what you actually need. And along with that, I did pray you know wisdom and discernment because especially when you become out in a very public way in media and broadcast there is something where everybody wants to be your friend mm -hmm. yeah. and be connected with you mm -hmm. and so there was a lot of discerning about that like yeah, I remember right. having to say yeah, I and that. I know that this is you know very open and transparent but 
you know, are you using me to get to where you want to be, <laughs> or are you really want to be my friend? And so oh I had issues gosh. of trust. I just had right? this discussion. I just it, there was trust because there were times where you know I'd gotten burnt where I I shared mm -hmm. and it came back. Yeah. And I said, I thought this was a trusted, very sort of in the vault, closed thing. Mm. Yeah. I don't have that, especially when you're out to the world. And so you can cut, I will say this, I, I did the wrong thing where then I started going, oh, and I went really closed and mm. I didn't trust. Right. And then right. that wasn't helpful either. You swung too far. The I did. And then I was like, okay, yeah. wait, that's yeah. not helpful because I'm alone. Yeah. Right. <laughs> but now I need to kind of like trust. But then I was a lot more cautious and I did pray, God, I'm going to mm. be discerning and wise. Yeah. And there's times where I'm like, I'm not going to ask this person to be a friend, but I really want her to be, and a mentor. And so you're going to have to have her ask me. Yeah. And then it would happen. And right. I'm like, wow, God, that really yeah. happened. So that's an encouragement mm -hmm. for people mm -hmm. because yeah. I think that's that's right. good to do. Yeah. You know. Um, let's look at some verses. I know we have some verses mm. because we can talk about our personal experiences, but I think when we go to the scriptures again to look about look at what a good friend is and how to do that, it'd be great. So there's a number of them, and I love this because there's a ton of stuff in the Bible about friendship. Yeah. So let's look at Job 2.11. Sure. Uh, Abby has yeah. that. And we'll kind of, let's just read through the verses sure. and then we can kind of discuss. Yeah. All okay, right. go ahead. Uh, when three of Job's friends heard of the tragedy he had suffered, they got together and traveled from their homes to comfort and console him. Their names were Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the... Sh <laughs> okay. <laughs> you gave me the on, on television yes, and go. Okay. Fill <laughs> that in so far. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Uh, there you go. <laughs> and that's the end of the verse. So there yeah. you go. Yeah. I love that. I mean, I know I'm going to, but I just, they came. They got together. Yeah. They traveled from their homes to comfort and console him. And they were named. The friends right. were named. That's mm -hmm. how greatly significant yeah. that was that right. they traveled to comfort him. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. And for, for no gain of their own. Oh, no. I love that. And, you know, Job at the time. Right. Like, that's kind of the friend. I was like, do you really want right. to hang out with that yeah. friend? Yeah. yeah. So I love that. Yeah, me too. Okay, next verse is Proverbs eighteen twenty four. Sure. And it says, there are friends who destroy each other, but a real mm. friend sticks closer than a brother. Mm. Mm. Wow. Good. Okay, that's a good one too. All right, Proverbs 22, 24 to 25. Yeah, this one's a doozy. <laughs> Don't befriend angry people. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yep. Or associate with hot-tempered people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or you will learn to be like them. Right. And mm -hmm. endanger your soul. Ouch. Oh. Hello. Hello. There's, there's a good wow, one. Wow, that's a good yeah, one. A okay, good one. so there's some choice choices yeah. there. Okay, next, Ecclesiastes 4, 9 to 10. Um, all right. Two people are better off than one, for they can help each other succeed. If one person falls, the other can reach out and help, but someone who falls alone is in real trouble. Yeah. Ooh. They are. They are, without yeah. somebody. Okay, yeah. that's good. Okay, John 15, 12 to 15. It says, this is my commandment. This is Jesus speaking. This is my commandment. Love each other in the same way I have loved you. Mm. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends. You mm. are my friends if you do what I command. I no longer call you slaves because a, slave, a, master, because a master doesn't confide in his slaves. Mm. Now you are my friends. Since I've told you everything the Father has told me. Wow. Oh, that's mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. And then let's end off here, yeah. Proverbs twenty-seven seventeen. As iron sharpens iron, so a friend a sharpens one. a friend. Yeah. That's a good one. All right, lots of good stuff there. Yeah. So as we're sharing all those verses, what immediately mm. came to you that was sort of like, a, oh, that's a good one? For me, when um, you read your verse, it was questioning, like, am I that person? Mm. Like, mm. on the other side of it. Mm. Um, I can't think of the specific word right now, but mm -hmm. um, yeah, like what kind of friend am I versus hmm. who am I associating with, but who am I first? Oh, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. so what kind of friend am I? Yeah. And then mm -hmm. who am I associating with? Okay. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. Go ahead. I just said the theme that I'm seeing mm -hmm. is your friends will shape who you are. Right. Yeah. Positive uh, yes. or negative. They sharpen you mm -hmm. yeah. or yeah. they make you become angry and endanger your soul. Either mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. Like, who am I? What right. kind of a friend am I being? What kind of a friend am I mm. seeking yeah. out Yeah. or attracting? Have you yeah. heard the thing, um, if you want to know what your next five years look like, look at your closest five friends? No. Yeah, I've heard that okay. recently. So you're saying, so if you want to have your next five years? Yeah, so look at your next five years, or if you want to know kind of what your next five years look like, look at the five closest people to you. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. I'm thinking that through now and going. Yeah. I, I think for me, I think, you know, Joe, that 
what you said was you know exactly what I was thinking. But it, it's just this sense of when I was looking through friendship verses, there mm. are tons. Mm. Like there, there's so many about love, relationship, friendship, how God is with us, how Jesus related to, with people, and obviously it's important. <laughs> Yeah. Like, I mean, it's not just like it's a one-off. There was one verse about be a good friend and don't hang out with angry people because they'll bring you down. Yeah. It's like over and over in Proverbs, right. all the way from how Job's friends were, how Jesus is with us. So clearly, that must mean it's an yeah. important topic for us to be aware of you know, in friendship. Right? And mm. there's a, there's a fr you know that phrase, show me who your friends are, I'll show you who you are. It's exactly what mm -hmm. Joanna was saying. Yeah. But, you know, th I, I, there was a line that I had in, in my talk that we're reflective. You know, we're reflective of our en environment. Put us in a toxic environment, like the verse mm -hmm. says, we be, mm -hmm. find ourselves mm -hmm. struggling with that. Positive, I love what you said about the five friends, but I think, I think it's so important. Um, you know, I was reminded of an old episode with Julie Black. And even health, even yeah, health, she made right. the connection. Mm -hmm. We were asking her, how did she change her life? She said she changed her tribe. Mm -hmm. right. Interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. how, how just who's in your circle yeah. can change your trajectory, That's your view it. on totally. life, your emotions. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So many things, yeah. right? Right. And it's an important thing because I think, you know, as we buy a car, a condo, as we purchase things, as we look at, you know, where we're going to university, we do the study, yeah. we're thoughtful about it, we're intentional about looking through that. And, mm -hmm. and sometimes, yes, there's an immediate attraction to people. But mm -hmm. there are times where I've, you know, cautiously sort of like felt out people, like mm -hmm. hung out with them in right. social things, church, and then sort of like prayed through it and finally said, okay, you know what, I think this is the person. Mm -hmm. It wasn't. In, in a lot of cases, it wasn't a, an immediate thing. There have been, you know, one or two where it was, and I'm like, it's like-minded, like soul right. sister. But on other occasions, there was an intentional thoughtfulness on right. the people that I bring mm -hmm. into my circle. Yeah. Yeah. And I think that was important for me and, you know, for Chris too. Mm -hmm. You know, because you're, as I was getting newly married, you're bringing in new people right. who are going right. to be a part of our lives mm -hmm. as we start you know, together. So you know what's interesting for me is um, just an example on like how you can kind of tell or when you kind of make that decision on who, like what your acquaintance is, how they become friends or who should become friends or whatever. Just an example is like Joe and I, we have been friends because of the show, but what really changed it for me is her picking up the phone and calling just randomly mm -hmm. and being like, hey, just mm -hmm. wanted to check in on you. You mm -hmm. were, I was just thinking of you and like mm -hmm. just investing into that person mm -hmm. and yes. like, you know, mm -hmm. um, so thank you for doing <laughs> that and being that friend. But that's like, that's a, that's a test yeah. for me is like, are they interested in my life? Yeah. And you know, and again, what kind of friend am I yeah. being? And invested in the hard stuff. Yeah. And I think right. that's a, that's a um, convicting part for me because I love friends in a way that are easy and fun. Right. But when it gets really hard and I've seen, I've been on the receiving end of friends who during a very deep dark depression, faithfully, Mm -hmm. at my door mm -hmm. with food, cleaning my apartment, putting me in the shower because I couldn't get up. Right. Like, that's yucky stuff. Like, who wants to be that kind of friend? And they were friends like that. Yeah. Going through my own divorce, couldn't get up, had to pack, could not pack, completely yeah. immobilized, crying, could not literally pick up a box to move out of my house. And there are my friends, well, yeah. have a seat, we'll do it. And so wow. there's that part of friendship where friendship to me also, you know, is are we? Are they going to be there for the good and the bad, the high and the low? If mm -hmm. everything was stripped away and I wasn't mm -hmm. a host of a mm -hmm. show or that, mm -hmm. would you still be my friend? Right. If I couldn't give you anything. or connect you with yeah. anything, and yeah, that's really. a key. It's like yeah. if I had nothing, mm -hmm. would you still be my friend? And right. I think that comes back on me, if because I have a lot of different kinds of friends. If if they could not give me the stuff they do, would yeah. I be their friend? And so right. it's, a, it's a good yeah I, moment for me to think. I love that. I love that. Another huge indicator for me for anyone that's you know doing a litmus test here is, am I am I giving out? Doesn't have to be material, but am I giving out more than I'm getting in this relationship? Right. There's nothing more um, devastating than realizing that you're in a in a one sided friendship. Right. <laughs> you're loving and you're serving and you're caring and you're praying and it's just not coming back. Mm. Um, they're not even asking you know. How are you? Are you good? Yeah, are you okay? Right. And you're yeah, just right. all over town for them. Yeah, so right. it's yeah. that's another good one. Like yeah. really keep yeah. your eyes open. It's like we do this in in romantic relationships. DTR define the relationship, mm -hmm. and sometimes it has to happen in our friendships right. as well. Mm -hmm. right. I remember a moment with a, a woman who's a friend of mine, and she's a little bit older than me. Yeah. And um, a few years ago, it, I sort of said to her at some point, I needed to define the relationship. I needed to understand mm -hmm. what we were to one another. Mm -hmm. And I just said to her, you know, I, and I said, I'm okay 
whichever way this falls, I just need clarity. Mm -hmm. Like, do you see this as a friendship? Do you see this as a mentoring thing where you're kind of, kind mm -hmm. of helping me along for this season of my life? Um, kind of, I don't know, maybe there was another option on the table, but like, what kind of, what is this for mm -hmm. you? And she was able to clearly say, because I, what this was for her, mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of freedom actually yeah. to not then, have yeah. misplaced expectations. Mm -hmm. And actually, to my surprise, she said, actually, I do consider you a friend. And I said, okay, because I see you mentoring someone who's the same age as me. But she said that, you know, that's a different thing. Mm -hmm. You're right, I am mentoring that person, but mm, with you it's a friendship. And I just needed that clarity. Yeah. And, it, and it would have been fine if she said, I just want to mentor and support you. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yeah. that's no problem. That doesn't mean you don't care about mm -hmm. me. Actually, you maybe care more about me. Right. You're trying to help me along in this time right. of my life. But, but sometimes we need to ask. And sometimes it is a one-way thing. And mm -hmm. we get to decide, though, are we okay with that? Yeah, that's true. Is this a, yeah. is this a right. friendship? Or is this kind of a project? Yeah. And I don't mean that in a really yeah. bad way, yeah. but like, is yeah. this just someone who I've decided out of great love to care for them, support them, cheer mm -hmm. them on, and mm -hmm. I have no expectation of that coming yeah. back this And way. I think it's about expectations. I think some of the biggest yeah. struggles I've had with my girlfriends is we did not have a conversation of the expectation of That's what this it. would be. Yeah. She had expectations I would call her every day. Whoa. Mm -hmm. And I was Oof. like, whoa, uh, sorry, uh, maybe <laughs> twice, like once every two weeks. Like, and just in that, yeah. Yeah. big blowout. I'll be honest, big blowout. Wow. Uh, did not talk for for a while yeah. and then what's crazy is as we had the talk she's now become my best friend yeah. so it's an yeah. interesting thing where that can happen yeah. but it's important for the expectation talk right yeah. we're we don't have a lot of time this always yeah. happens we're having a good conversation but I just want to go as we as we finish up just back to the scripture that you had yeah. Joe about uh, laying down our life I think that went back to how God is yeah, with John us 15. in friendship yeah can you just read that one yeah. more time this is my commandment love each other in the same way I Jesus have loved you mm -hmm. there's no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends you are my friends if you do what I command I no longer call you slaves because a master doesn't confide in his slaves but now you are my friends since mm -hmm. I've told you everything the father told me wow mm -hmm. Yeah. That should give us great confidence, yeah. you know, yeah, that, and there, when there are times, and I know there are viewers where mm -hmm. it's lonely and they don't have a physical friend, but I yeah. think the reminder that he always is. Mm -hmm. It's one yeah. of my favorite. I don't usually sing on the show, but what a friend we have in Jesus. Oh, I love that is one. Is like one of my dearest. Right. Or like there's a more modern song that like I, like, like he is a friend and, of mine. Mm -hmm. There's something so powerful about like an affiliation yeah. with God is is not yeah. just father, but also yeah. that God might right. be our friend. Yeah. And that is yeah. such a good reminder for people yeah. because yes, we are encouraging and we want our you know our viewers and mm. and people we connect with to have good friendships like we do, and we are very blessed yeah. with that. But yeah. if not, and there are many people that don't, the reminder that he is our friend right. yeah. is so important to remember. Just ten second, I really feel led of the spirit just to say, for someone who's really lonely and struggling, we are your girlfriends. Yeah. If you find yourself in a season without friends and just feeling overwhelmingly lonely. That's what we're here for as yeah. well. So consider us, sit at the table with us, yeah. email yeah. us, talk to yeah. us. We're yeah. here. We're not just here at the table. That's not who we are. We will pray with you. We will speak with yeah. you. Yeah. 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 Amazing. Well, thank you so much, you guys, mm -hmm. for sharing. Yeah. I think that's important. I think, you know, we're listening to our viewers and we're responding um, from our own personal experience mm -hmm. and through mm -hmm. scriptures, which is so important. Yeah. So thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for joining us around the table. And like Cheryl said, you know, we're here to be girlfriends. I mean, yeah. I know it's around the world and it's online, but if that's a one step or if mm -hmm. you can be open and trust us we would take that as a gift and a privilege uh, to journey yeah. with you in friendship yeah. mm -hmm. so make sure that you check us out on seeherlove.com facebook twitter instagram write us let us know how you're doing and thanks for all the messages that you have mm -hmm. sent in the past months it encourages us and it gets us motivated and passionate for the work that we do um, so thank you so much and always remember that you are seen heard and deeply loved by god yeah. bye, -bye.